The grim statistics indicate the 4th of July weekend is the riskiest time for mass shootings, the latest occurring late Sunday night in Philadelphia, where a 40-year-old local resident opened fire randomly. He was armed with a high-powered assault rifle and handgun, wearing a bulletproof vest and in possession of a police scanner. He surrendered to police who say they are still investigating the motive for the shootings. On what was supposed to be a beautiful summer evening, this armed and armored individual wreaked havoc, firing with a rifle at their victims, seemingly at random, shooting seven, killing five, including children, babies. President Biden and his wife had invited members of the National Education Association to celebrate the holiday at the White House. The occasion marred by the news of yet another shooting and yet another call for greater gun regulation. But Congress needs to step up, pass common sense gun safety laws to protect our kids and educators. And by the way, arming teachers is not the answer. Arming teachers is not the answer. Banning assault weapons and high capacity magazines, extensive background checks, they're part of the answer. In Baltimore this past weekend, two people were killed and more than 20 injured in a shooting at a block party. In several gun incidents in Chicago, a total of five people were killed and 33 wounded. This on the first anniversary of a shooting in nearby Highland Park, in which seven people were killed last year. And more gun victims in Fort Worth, Texas. Right now we know that two uh, persons have succumbed to their injuries and have passed away from being shot at this point. Republicans in Congress continue to resist calls to pass meaningful gun legislation, including a ban on assault weapons. This in the face of statistics showing more than 340 mass shootings have taken place in the U.S. this year alone. Mike Hanna, Al Jazeera, Washington.